After raiding eight, ga eight game rooms in La Jolla, prosecutors plan to seize the land and buildings linked to illegal gambling. CBS 4's Patrick Chalvier has more. After investigators raided eight game rooms last week, they sealed the doors with orange signs reading, quote, this building is being seized and sealed by the Hidalgo County Criminal District Attorney's Office. Actually seizing the land and buildings, though, requires a judge's approval, and it could be a challenge. In, in these kind of cases, you're going to find out that most of the places are rental properties. And the owner of the land can always claim that he was ignorant about the activities that were going in there. Texas law allows game rooms to offer slot machine style games for amusement only. Paying cash prizes is illegal. Former Hidalgo County District Attorney Rene Guerra says many game room owners don't take the law seriously. They get taken down and then they spring up again a few months later. In an attempt to stop the game of whack-a-mole, the district attorney's office recently started filing civil forfeiture cases against the land and buildings linked to illegal gambling, hoping to make owners think twice before renting to eight-liners. Seizing the properties isn't easy. Some property owners claim they weren't aware of the illegal activity, something called the innocent owner defense. Other people who might uh, be to this eight-liner business, I mean, hey, the city gave them a permit to operate. Uh, I'm assuming perhaps that they're going to operate legally, so how am I to know they're doing something illegal? In March, investigators raided two game rooms in La Jolla. Prosecutors later filed a civil forfeiture lawsuit attempting to seize the land and buildings involved. Marino represented the property owner, arguing the owner didn't know about the illegal activity. Prosecutors dropped the attempt to seize the property worth more than $1 million in exchange for just $3,800. For Guerra, the big question is how eight game rooms accused of allowing illegal gambling operated just down the street from the La Jolla Police Department. The places are covered up and uh, right there underneath uh, the police department uh, front door. Uh, that was unusual that they would be there. It seemed like to me like somebody was calling some political shots to protect these individuals. La Jolla Mayor Fito Salinas wasn't available for comment Tuesday. In La Jolla, Patrick Chauvier, CBS 4 News and ValleyCentral.com. Investigators also seized 656 machines during that raid.